Welcome everyone. Today we're talking real estate and specifically about a very interesting survey that just came out in Realtor Magazine. It shows that 68% of baby boomers out there say they've lived in their homes, their current home, for 30 years or more, and they have done no major renovations. They have not replaced the major appliances. So this is creating a lot of inventory that's not necessarily attractive to all the millennials who are entering the market right now. So we brought on an expert to talk about this today, Melissa Shaw from Lewis Realtors. You've been in the business 21 years, so you know your stuff. Um, first of all, let's talk about how many millennials are out there right now looking for homes. Well, Kelly, the number is really significant. It's 45.5 million millennials looking to buy a home. Wow. Okay. So they are looking for homes, I would imagine, that have had some right. done to them in the last 30 years. Um, and with those big numbers of homes that have had no work done, um, let's talk about those baby boomers. Let's say you have money to spend on renovations and you don't. Uh, what do you recommend? If, if your budget is tight, what kinds of things should you do to your house? What can you do to your house without spending a lot of money to make it more attractive to buyers? Yeah, you, you bring up a great point, Kelly, um, because not everybody has money to spend. Um, otherwise, they probably would have done it. So each, each situation is pretty unique. But a good rule of thumb is if you've got the budget, um, spend the money. Spend the money, update your systems, your your roof. Um, I coin it the 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 this is. Remove some of the this is that the buyer is going to have to do because the buyers of forty five point five million of them are millennials. They're paying top dollar for money right now um, and a monthly payment due to the rates. So we're really got to monopolize what you can do if you've got the money. So let's stick to update your roof if it needs it your HVAC system, if it needs it and it's older, update your kitchens and bathrooms. Um, and then if you don't have the budget for that, um, basic great return on investments are let's de declutter um, your home, depersonalize your home, get it professionally cleaned. And this would also go for, you know, if you had the budget, but minimal things also would be um, get your HVAC system cleaned and take care of your curb appeal and landscaping. Super important. So it sounds like if you don't have the money to replace or update things, simply making sure they're in working order and they've been serviced is right. where you should spend your money. Is that right? Absolutely. There, anything that you can um, remove that question mark by deferred maintenance in a buyer's eyes is is going to pay off for you. And what about colors? You know, a lot of people think, wow, slap, slap a fresh coat of paint on it, right? Sure, to update absolutely. It. But if you are a baby boomer and you've been in the same home for many, many years, um, what do you recommend as far as maybe paint colors or if you have the budget to replace a small section of carpeting or something like that? Should absolutely. You, should you be looking at designer magazines trying to pick out colors or should you do, really keep it simple? Well, I have a great staging reference expert, but the National Real Estate Staging Association does recommend neutralizing paint colors, and that could be a gray, it could be beige, it could even be white. White's very popular, it's making a comeback. It is, isn't it? Not mm -hmm. just for the interior, but for exterior. Yeah, homes. clean and crisp. Yeah. yeah, seeing a lot of white. Um, and I know that replacing windows is a really big expense. Def definitely. Right. Um, but right. is it important to at least have an expert come out and look at your windows ahead of time before you list a home, just so you know what you're dealing with? You know, that's really up to a seller's um, discretion. There's definitely pros and cons to that. Um, if they've got the budget for it and it's obvious that they need replacing, you'll get your return on investment. So thanks for being with us.